How's it going guys? My name is Fade and welcome back to Polybridge. So, last time we completed the first four levels of Ancient Ruins. Uh, but you will notice that I have now completed the next six levels after that. So I've already tried recording this video once, but the footage went mental, so it looks like this. How's it going guys? My name is Fade and what? So what I thought I'd do is I'll just go through all these levels, show you the bridges that I came up with to complete them, because it does save um, your bridge that you complete it with. And then we'll attempt to do the last two bridges here of ancient ruins and then next time we can progress onto E.T.'s fun land which actually doesn't look too fun but anyway so the first the first bridge I guess I'll show you is the 24 meter triple decker bridge as you can see three cars but they're not trying to cross over anything literally he's going to there he's going to there and C is going to there so basically I made this um it's just three layers with a rather fancy geometric pattern to hold it together and it works so yeah you will notice one thing uh, with all these levels today. I've started using cables more. I think I've realised that cables are the way to go because they're strong. They're strong, and you can make them like really long, but they don't really weigh anything, so they don't add to the weight of the bridge. So they're not really like having to support their own. If you make if you make something completely out of steel, it gets to a point where actually it's so heavy the steel can't even support itself. But anyway, that was this first bridge. For each of them, I'll show you. I'll show you the bridge to start with. And you can like screenshot it if you want to use my design or anything. Anyway, thirty-six mil. 36 meter steel arch bridge when I originally did this I didn't know what an arch bridge was so I looked it up it's just a bridge that has arches under it <laughs> pretty simple so you, you will notice that normally arches have arch bridges have more than one arch but there's nothing in the floor to attach it to so I just did this it's just one big arch and then the, these bits of steel sort of rest against the wall here uh, you'll notice when I press play it does actually snap a bit at the bottom but never fear it does still work Little school bus trundles along. Oh, it looks like it's gonna fail. It it shouldn't because it, it worked before. There we go. It looks like it's gonna fail, but it, <laughs> maximum joint stress 101.3%. I guess that's these bits down here that snapped, but it still counts. 40 meter double monster jump. This level is great. Anyway, I'll basically just I don't really need to explain anything here. There you go. Two jumps. Pretty simple. What happens when you press play? Good things happen when you press play. Yeah, somehow this bit snaps, but it still works. It's all good, no problem. <laughs> I want more jump levels. I mean, they're hard. They're really hard, but they are fun. Anyway, next one. Oh, this one's a jump level too. 20 meter cross jump. So as you can see, this uh, surfer van is trying to jump here and land up here on this platform, and this station wagon is trying to jump and land here on the ramp that he uses to come down here. So I started off, uh, you'll see actually, I basically only used cables for this and it works really well. So yeah, one thing, if you attach like these points straight to this point here with cables, those cables aren't strong enough and they snap. But if you sort of like use a piece of steel like this and cut the cable in half and have a cable either side of the steel, then the steel doesn't snap. So that works great. And then this happens. Pretty good, pretty good. So. Next level, uh, 20 meter fork jump. What happens here? Oh yeah, I know what happens here. So the first car has to jump here, and then the second car has to jump to a different place. But obviously it's the same car, so the bridge itself needs to move. So I made this thing. This one took a while. I just found it really hard to get the angle correct. Like, it's it's okay for the first car to jump to here, but then it's really hard to get the uh, hydraulic to move it up enough that it jumps to here but not too much that it just jumps like straight up and then falls in the water and also sometimes it just snaps and you're only allowed one hydraulic which made it really tricky but anyway this is the bridge i came up with you'll see it it only just works it very nearly doesn't work that guy just clips that flag then the hydraulic goes down and lifts the bridge up there's lots of what that was a working design that was a working design Oh, I know I didn't work. I think that's meant to go the other way. I don't know why the hydraulic was set to go the wrong way, but I think now it should work. I don't know why. Yeah, it's meant to do this. That's what it did. And then you'll see the second car jumps and the cables don't snap. And he lands on the flag. Yeah. That was really weird. It saved the hydraulic going the wrong way, but whatever. What's this one? Oh yeah, 36 meter shipping canal. Jesus, this level. You'll see lorries. First time we've had lorries. Uh, lorries are heavy, so you have to make quite quite a sturdy bridge. And this is what I came up with. Again, lots of cables split with steel. This one took a while just to get it to not fall over. I mean, 
it's actually not too hard to make a quadruple hydraulic. It's just making a bridge this long when there's nothing to support it in the middle stand up. It's quite, it's quite hard, but it, wait, let's just check the hydraulics are going the right way this time. I think, I think they're all fine. Okay, so in theory, this should work. First lorry, drives across, nice and slow, taking it easy, nice and gentle, and then the hydraulics open, and we get four, four little boats driving on underneath, all good. And then we close the drawbridges, and the second lorry goes across. I, I had to, like, before I made it work, for some reason the first lorry went across, but then the second one made it snap as if the second lorry was more heavy. Or something stupid like that. But now but now it works, so all good. So I'm pretty sure that brings us to the level I'm now on. Yes, this is the one uh that we didn't try and do last time. The twenty four meter low budget overpass. Uh thirty thousand dollars is actually quite a large budget, but we do have a London bus. It's bringing in loads of new vehicles. it's like a new vehicle every level up. Anyway, London bus and I guess a tugboat going through here. Materials wood. Wait, what? Oh crap. There's no st oh shit. <laughs> I guess there's no hydraulics, so the bridge just goes up and over. If I make it symmetrical, so I put that there, and then that one there? Yeah, I think so. Okay, that looks all right, and now I guess we just, just play in our triangles. It's quite a simple bridge, this one. I think if the wood follows the curve of the bridge as accurately as it can, then it should make a pretty, um, that should be for the best, I think. I suppose one thing, it's not actually symmetrical. This piece here, I mean, this piece here is longer than this piece here. But it still can. Oh, they've made it. They made the like the gap not like they put the tugboat not in the middle. That's super duper annoying. Let's connect this thing up. Uh, okay. I'm get. I get the feeling. As soon as I press play, this thing is gonna fall straight down. <gasps> yeah, it fell down. Okay. I think. I don't know if we just like go up again and make it stronger like that. I don't know if that would be good or not. It's actually maybe good. This may add some more support, or it may just make it way too heavy. And then it won't work. We'll see. I guess using shorter bits of wood adds less weight. Is that sh Oh! It holds itself up. Can it hold a London bus? No, no. Oh, I like how it just phases through the tugboat. It'd be nice if it actually like, landed on top of it and the tugboat just carried it away downstream. But I guess that makes the game more complex. So why do that? Let's just do it in slow motion. Take a look at where it snaps. If I could have like a tool that just highlights the one that snaps first. I think it's somewhere around here. Um... This one, this one here, okay. So we need some support on this one here. Let's put that back on 100%. I'm pretty sure big triangles obviously way more, but they add more support to the structure. Okay, is that strong? Whoa, it stays off again. London bus, no, god damn it. This is gonna go over budget, it's gonna go over budget. Over budget, I I knew it, I knew it, that one piece of wood too many. Does it, I bet it works now as well. Don't you dare, don't you dare work. Oh, it doesn't. Okay, fine. I'm 13, 13 dollars over budget. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, oh, yo, oh, you god damn it! <laughs> Literally, the very last moment. This is probably gonna work, I think. Come on, come on. Yeah, that works. Okay, we did it. It's over budget. Um, but it's super difficult. I don't know if I wanna try and do it. I think we're gonna leave it. Uh, we can always come back if you want. 18 meter double deck lift. What? Oh, I'm only allowed to use 11 pieces of road, which I'm assuming is just enough to go across here. Oh, yeah, I've got I've got two more pieces of road. Okay, I see what's going on. You want me to lift this middle section of road up. Don't know how high that's gonna lift it, but we'll do that. We'll do something like this. I don't know if it goes to like half length or what. This may even just work. It looks simple, but oftentimes the simple one... No. <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> oh, maybe maybe if I just cable... Stop, come on. Maybe if I just cable onto the steel thing. Does that hold it up? Oh, it holds it up. I just realized there's nothing holding these flaps up. Annoyingly, this is going to work other than those flaps either side. I like how it works as like a dog door. Also, no split joints. Okay. Maybe if I also cable this to there and cable this to there. I don't know if you can have cable and hydraulic in the same space. We shall see. Anyway, does that work? Oh, it sort of does. This is a cool concept for a bridge. They actually got some all right pro. Oh, God damn it! I was going to say they've got some like all right problem design. If I do them at a slightly different angle, sort of like this, that may actually work. I mean, the hydraulics are going to be going weird, but hopefully they don't 
like tear each other to pieces because they're slightly pulling out to the side. Let's see. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, oh, now the hydraulics attached to this bit here. I see what's going on. I'm pretty sure the way the split joints work is literally like everything to the left of the split joint is attached to this middle bit. So if you see the hydraulic, if the hydraulic, whoops, don't want that. If the hydraulic is going like this, it's on the left, so it's attached to this middle bit. But if it's like this, it's on the right, so it's attached to this little bit here. So you have to do it slightly like that. It's going to go just over budget. Oh no, I've got still got like three grand of budget. That might work. That might work. Does that work? So far, so far it does. Okay, first little mini drives across and the bridge lifts. Oh, come on. And lift the bridge. Oh, well, it snapped again. I get the feeling it's not to do that. It's to do with this. So let's try doing it like this. Go. Okay. Please, please work. Why does that snap? That... <sighs> I get the feeling this is exactly how this bridge is meant to work, but for some reason it doesn't work for me. This doesn't look like it should work, but it also looks like it is going to. Oh, why does it snap? I mean, it's, oh, I just, the snapping, the snapping of this piece of wood here for seemingly no reason. Maybe if I use a hydraulic there and it will lift that piece there and also this piece here, and maybe also a hydraulic won't snap. So my thinking is, these little hydraulics, lift it like that, so you can actually drive across. Don't lift them too high. Oh, now it's too high. Now he can't get onto the bridge. It's just so annoying because I don't even need a hydraulic there. I just need something which won't snap. I get the feeling this must be a bug because there's no, there's no logical reason that these, like, that whatever you attach to this bit of road should snap every time. No, I need to change the direction of the hydraulic. Oh, fuck. Okay, change that and now put it back to really short. Cool. Same the other side. Boom. And boom. Okay, okay, please, please. It's just so stupid that it doesn't work, because it should work, but I'm pretty sure it's a goddamn bug. Okay, it lifts the pieces of road. The tie, the, it's still too much. It's still too much. Okay, maybe we're focusing on the wrong thing. Maybe we just need to move this piece of road up like that. It's a little jump. He'll jump onto the road. It'll be all fine. Ah, oh, just go quicker while it's still low. <gasps> Oh my god! Please work! Please work! Don't snap! Oh my god! I cannot believe that. Achievement unlocked. Completed ancient ruins. <sighs> that fucking brick. I have a feeling that must be a bug. Because that just... It made no sense why it kept failing like that. But whatever. Anyway. Next time. Ooch! You've reached the end of the current campaign levels. But don't worry. More levels will be coming very soon. You can download more levels on the Steam Workshop too. Oh! Well, I guess there is no 80s fun land. Not just yet anyway. So if we go back... Yeah, it's annoying they put it in, but they haven't made it yet. Well, anyway, we have completed Ancient Ruins. Sorry that I couldn't show you guys my thought pro- oh, that sounded weird. My thought process uh, for all of these levels, like, in the middle here, but the recording screwed up, and I can't do them for the first time again. So, yeah. But anyway, this has been Polybridge. Hope you guys enjoyed. As soon as it comes out, we'll try it as Funland. I guess until then, if you guys want, we could always check out some community-made uh, Steam Workshop levels. If if you want that, let me know. But until then, this has been Polybridge. Hope you guys enjoyed. I've been better. I'll see you guys later.